you're going to once again transform this company and I'm sure you're going to want to keep the same spirit. You're going to want to keep the same way of working, but will you be building, will Lamborghini build, be building, you know, hybrid and electric cars? It's a bit early to talk about uh, the future of the company because I'm uh, in charge uh, only since uh, a couple of weeks and uh, I, at least I need uh, three months to get adjusted. But what I can tell you is that we will have uh, now after a big growth in the last years, a phase of stabilization. I think we have uh, a good momentum. We have to keep the momentum and we have to uh, look very carefully into every project and decide uh, uh, which way to go. And uh, it's clear that uh, electrification is part of uh, my agenda here in uh, Lamborghini. Well, what do you think about that? I mean, before you left, I remember you had a concept car that you worked on. I believe it was a Ducati Panigale um, V-Twin in a beautifully designed Lamborghini. Um, is, is a hybrid powertrain, you think, the way to make up for um, smaller engines? I mean, I've, I've always loved the American phrase, there's no replacement for displacement. And I don't love forced induction, turbochargers, superchargers, but I can imagine a battery really adding an extra kick to a petrol engine that's exciting. Yes, we have to adapt, uh, let's say, the situation uh, homologation, legislation, uh, sustainability things to the world of uh, the super sports car business. And here there's also a split between what we can do for super sports cars or for cars like the Euros, which is still you not know, the super sports car inside the SUV segment, but it's a, it's a bit different. If we speak about uh, Urus, uh, if we speak about Aventador and Huracan, for sure the type of electrification must go into the direction which you are talking about. Now it has to give a boost. It has to give uh, the, the opportunity to, let's say, give uh, uh, our drivers, the customers, a feeling of uh, exceptional additional power. And this is the, the map. But it also needs to fulfill the requirement of the legislation to come. And this is, let's say, a bit uh, the new uh, world we have to step in and it's important uh, that we do it at the right time and not just for the sake of being the first to doing it and this is what we have to plan in a very careful way for the urus it's a bit different there we can have a uh, range is uh, then maybe much more important in the future in terms of electrification than for the super sports car but the super sports car they have to find the new environment and they have to match uh, with the legislation which is coming up was there any change in terms of, was there any effect um, from the pandemic? Because I know Lamborghini, I've participated in a lot of track days, um, you know, and track weeks uh, uh, with the company. It's a very social brand. The owners are a tight-knit group of people. Um, what was the pandemic like for, for the Lamborghini community? It was, it was tough because uh, Lamborghini had to block mainly all activities we, which we did on, on racetracks and uh, on, uh, on, uh, on tours, on GD, like we call them, and uh, also presentation of the new cars. So we had to postpone because also the testing of the, the cars uh, was difficult to be done uh, due to the, the shutdown. We had a shutdown here in the, in the factory in uh, March, April, I don't know how many weeks, but it was uh, uh, quite long. And uh, the surprise, the positive surprise was that uh, once the, they opened up and they restarted with the production, also the market came back uh, pretty fast and, uh, and strong. Uh, but yes, we had to, let's say, reduce to a minimum all the activities, uh, so be it, uh, um, I don't know, motor shows, which were canceled anyway, but also from our side, all the activities uh, uh, we were planning on, they were planning in Lamborghini, were reduced to a minimum. And this is uh, for sure uh, caused by uh, the pandemic. We hope that we can start, let's say, in late spring next year with the presentation of the cars and have more of these uh, things coming up. For the second part of the year, we are much more positive for the second part of 2021.